Hey, welcome, welcome back to Let's Play Celeste, where we left, last left off. We were right in the middle of the Celestial Hotel, working our way to the presidential suite, I think it was, courtesy of the old creepy, ghostly concierge guy. We've got our dashes, we've got our jumps, we've got all kinds of wall-grabbing technology. We are just about good to go. There's a bed, I'll just sleep right there, right? Like, <laughs> I'd have to go all the way to the suite. We don't quite know why we're on this mountain. We're with kind of a, a saucy millennial, I'm guessing. Yep, 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 yep. Watch out for those jump platforms, my friend. They will get you every time, basically, every time. Now, am I gonna be able to, yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. <laughs> These things are so simple, yet I always, yep, need a plan of attack, right? You gotta hit one, you gotta hit the other, in as smooth a motion as possible. Even though, like I said, I am not a speed run kind of guy. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. You still, it's still satisfying to have a a smooth go, you know? When you just you hit the things that you need to hit and no more, no less. And you get from point A to point B in as smooth, tidy looking a manner as possible. And that's always rewarding. And that clearly doesn't seem to be happening right now. But that's okay. The real objective real objective. See, I don't even know, I didn't even know, need to go down onto that one. That was silly. From the top, I can just go straight down to the bottom one. And back over to there. Yeah, see, I'm just making my life needlessly complicated, and we're done. That was pretty slick. Ooh. Tricky, tricky. Kind of. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta get up to that side wall, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. I have that problem with platformers where you see the path, and then even if you see it where you have to go, once I get there, my brain for some reason just forgets that, oh yeah, you still need to, still need to hit the right buttons after that. <laughs> It's like I forget that that's not the goal. That's just like an intermediate goal that I've set. You know, I still need to get right to the left. Just getting to that that wall with the tentacles was not the goal. I can't stop and turn my brain off after that. I need to keep going. Oh, and my thumbs. I still have that problem. I was talking about this before. And my big old fat thumb is just hitting the wrong button. I gotta. I need to be dashing straight left. I was for that last dash. I was trying to intentionally go on an angle. You gotta just go straight left. That was dumb. This should be much easier now if I can get my fingers to cooperate. There we go. We're through. There's the key. We're back here. I don't even know where the door was. Is the door down? Yeah, the door is down. Okay. It's this way. Okay, progress. Progress is always good. Even if it's sloppy, it's still progress. I did this already, didn't I? Or I did something very similar to it, I guess. Huh. Okay. This could be tricky to time. They're moving pretty quick. I don't know. None of the other ones moved that fast. There we go. Not so bad. This is going to fall? No? Yes? Oh, there's the button. Ms. Madeline, I really must implore you to keep up. I'm running a world-class establishment here. I don't have time to wait around for meandering guests. You really don't have to wait for me. I'm just looking for a way through this place. Oh, Shiro, you idiot. The customer is always right. Business is finally picking up, and you lose your temper? Oh, of course, Miss Madeline. My sincere apologies. I was out of line. 
Please, feel free to explore at your leisure. It's leisure, not leisure. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I don't understand what all this stuff is, but... I mean, the green and blue stuff, I guess, is all books. But the purple things are really confusing me. Oh, I've got a... Oh, it's a maze. Ah, I see. Do I see? He's in a closed-off room. There's no way into him. Oh, no, there is a way. Top right. Top right will lead me... Yeah. Okay. I was never great at mazes. Unless we're, like, at Swiss Chalet and I'm helping my kids with the placemat. Yeah, there we go. This is this is a Swiss Chalet maze. We're good. Ah, <laughs> oh, this clutter is out of control. Sounds like my house. When did this happen? I don't even know where to begin. Mr. Ashiro, do you run this whole place by yourself? You're right, Ms. Madeline. I'll never sort this mess out alone. It's hopeless. It's not what I meant. Just breathe, Mr. Ashiro. Breathe. It's just a little spring cleaning. Well, more than a little. But I can help. You're too kind. But I wouldn't even bother. It's a lost cause. Two exits. Three exits. How long have you been running the hotel? Oh, quite some time now. Business has been slow. You must really love your work. Oh yes, Ms. Madeline. In the hotel business, our passion is perfecting the delicate art of hospitality. A truly great hotel lives eternally in the cherished memories of its satisfied guests. That's the spirit. Now let's get started on this mess. So what is expected of me? Do I have to go in order? They, they, I think they open up at the top first, right? I'm thinking. I can't even navigate through here. <laughs> I'm, there we go. My brain is faster. Or my fingers are faster than my brain for some reason. Easy. wall kick gets me like a I don't know why it's not that complicated you just have to grab instead of jump see now what was down there I don't uh, can't get back either are some of these levels going to be undoable the same way after we've decluttered like that was dumb why did I do that I saw that coming and yet Yeah, that wall kick, man. I keep thinking that when I get to the top, I can jump. And then just jump over, but I keep end up wall kicking out. Yikes and trikes, man. That's... Well, that's something, anyway. It wasn't pretty, but we made it. Oh, I can go down there. Hmm. Don't whistle into the mic. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, I totally missed another path. Hopefully that's not going to prove to be too big an issue. Aha. This is something. new skill so we've sorted out a bunch of the books have gone back into their cabinet that's always good it's a good feeling when things are a little bit more tidy so that was number one right now they don't want me going through or I have to do this one where did Mr. Ashiro go? Oh, 
How are we going to handle water? We can swim. We can float. We can push down and swim. It's convenient. Laundry, dirty laundry. An old paper sticks out from amid the clutter. Celestial Resort Hotel. Attention hotel staff. It is my sad duty to inform you that the Celestial Resort Hotel will close indefinitely following this season due to circumstances beyond our control. It was an honor to have served alongside you all. As we worked tirelessly to ensure that our guests enjoyed the most hospitable and memorable experience possible. I write this with a heavy heart. This hotel has become my home. Its staff and patrons my family. I will miss you all dearly, Mr. Ashiro. Hmm. Mysteries. Mysteries and confusion. Okay, so we've got that little bit of flavor. Is there something going on up here? Why is that? But it still won't let me. Oh, I gotta find him again. Okay, I can handle that. I haven't even begun cleaning and already I feel a renewed lightness of spirit. That's the power of positive thinking. Uh, actually, I cleared out some of the clutter for you. Oh yes, thank you, Ms. Madeline. But please relax and let the hotel staff handle it. Oh, sure, oh, you fool. You're losing her. Guests don't want to spend their time cleaning. Are you okay? Yes, of course. This is the finest hotel you'll ever visit. You'll see. How could I let my problems pile up like this? Okay, so we can go top right, bottom left. I wonder why the options. Why options? Why give me the option? I'm gonna go top right. Just because I feel like it. This guy again, is he stuck? Theo, are you a guest here too? Madeline, I'm so happy to see you right now. I'm all about spooky mysteries, but this is getting too real. Have you talked to Mr. Oshiro? I think he could really use some help. You think? He's a creepy old weirdo. I bet he's cleaning out a nook to hide our bodies as we speak. I'm gonna crawl through this vent. It's blowing cold air in from outside. Come on. Mr. Oshiro's troubled, but I don't think he wants to hurt us. He just needs to clean up this mess. I want to help him. Madeline, that's very sweet, but this is dangerous. We need to get out of here and call an expert on creepy old dudes. We aren't prepared for this. I think I can get through to him. Go on ahead and I'll catch up with you later. Man, you're more stubborn than my sister. I thought that was impossible. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Theo. I'll see you outside. I don't know if she is like, I have a feeling like she might be the ghost, like they're sick sensing us. I think, like, she's climbing this mountain as like a form of purgatory and she's helping people and I don't know, that's just a guess. Either that or she's running away, she could still be running away from something. And that bag, I was so shocked, I think. I gotta go back and check an old video. I think she is carrying that bag the whole time. In which case, I just missed it. Which means they purposely have her wearing it. And they purposely... Oh, that was awful. They purposely drew attention to it so that you would notice it. Which means it's gotta be relevant. I'm guessing, from a storytelling perspective. Another reason why I was never big on platformers and more on RPGs is because... I'm all about story, right? I love story. I love developing a story, seeing it through to the end. Uh, well, <laughs> ironically, as much as I loved all those, you know, Final Fantasy RPGs and stuff, I never finished them. As weird as that sounds, and as much as I loved the story, I never was able to finish them. I never wanted the story to end. So, like, I distinctly remember in Final Fantasy IX getting to what I thought was the end and then just never going to finish. Like, I just never 
I seem to remember there's like a hallway or something you had to walk down. And as you walked down this area, you, you kind of knew that it was going to be the end. You know, the grand battle. And I just never wanted, I didn't want it to end, so I never played it. Kind of weird. But, so like, when I play games like this, even these platformers and, and things that are more mechanically driven, um, although they have some great stories, I will always be... Um, focused on those stories and trying to uncover them and trying to appreciate them. So I, I can stop, plan my thing, and then pop over. Problem is, you don't have forever when you're climbing. Because I think you will start to fall even on these non-ice walls. I should have picked up a charge there, right? Shoot. This really isn't that complicated. Um, timing is right. I got that. She's getting tired. Is she getting tired? I think so. This is a simple fall. We don't want to screw this up. It's a huge window right there. There we go. Oh, and we got to the next little jelly thing. Tidy up. Open all the cupboards. Throw. Yeah, those are towels and stuff. I was right, I think. Throw them all in the cupboards, and then we are out. Let's bounce. What was over here? Another piece of paper, maybe? Attention hostel, hotel staff. I'm going to grab a drink here before I read this. It is my sad duty to inform you that the Celestial Hotel will close indefinitely. This is the same note. Oh, are we just coming back into the same room? Yeah, we're coming back into the same room over and over. Makes sense. A little bit cleaner here again. Getting closer to that key. Found a jump pad. Where is Mr. Oshiro? Mr. Oshiro, he's got to be around here somewhere. There's the door. Hello, Mr. Oshiro. It's looking a lot nicer in here. Can you show me to the exit now? But Ms. Madeline, you've barely enjoyed the myriad luxuries that our hotel has to offer. We can talk more once I finish cleaning. I'm very busy. Yes, young people have no respect these days. Told ya. You're welcome, sheesh. Bottom right. That's where we're headed. Last one, it looks like. There, we just gotta go right there. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, I thought he would move. Didn't quite have the timing right, I guess. Forgot to hold the trigger button. So much of this, of my my deaths, are are just my own lack of coordination. Um, it's been a long time since I played a platformer like this. I mean, I've been playing a bunch of Spelunky, but you're oftentimes given a chance to time to evaluate. You, you don't, at least at my level so far, haven't had to pull off a series of, of steps, right? A series of, uh, of moves that all have to be timed properly in order to not die. Um, you oftentimes, oh, I was still holding up and to the right. You oftentimes have have a little bit more time to think about what you're doing, and in these, in this true platforming style, you've really got to trust your instincts and uh, and muscle memory on how to how and when to jump and which way to be pointing and all that stuff that is just slowly coming back to me. Oh, there we go. Really not that complicated when you think about it. I'm tempted to look to the right there. <laughs> going to now oh this is just a strawberry just a strawberry we're here we're gonna get it but oh look at that I was actually surprisingly impressive for me anyway okay
Not too bad, not too bad. I wonder why they had two... Two extra boosts there. That's... A little disturbing. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm trying to go to the wall, I guess. Hold the trigger button. Oh, what have I done? Jump, 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 hold, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Not too bad. Two paths again. You know, I just... <sighs> so what was down there then? How, how was I supposed to know to not go that way? I just missed out on a strawberry. Poor me. That should be the last of the cleaning. Mr. Shiro will should maybe unlock his, his deep-seated regret. Understand his backstory a little bit. And then we'll be out of here. I have to fight him as a boss. Is behind the wall. There's a locked door, rather. There you are. You certainly have a knack for wandering off. It was tough, but I sorted everything out for you. The Celestial Resort Hotel extends its gratitude for your assistance, Ms. Madeline. Of course, the staff had the mess under control. Oh, sure. Yeah. How humiliating. You must be eager to see your room. It's just up the elevator and down the hall. Sure, what the heck. Show me the presidential suite. It sounds lovely. Now's your last chance, Ashiro. Don't lose her now. Climb, climb, climb. Well, it's saved. We're 22 minutes. I've been playing this all morning. Haven't put it down. I'm loving it. Sound, great. Visual representation, fantastic. Controls are tight, responsive, great mechanics, great way of teaching you the mechanics, letting you learn as you go, letting you learn by failure. Humor is, is getting better. Um, I wasn't really appreciating it originally, but I'm digging it now because I think I was hoping for a more you know, mature mystery type thing, but it's, it's a light, it's, it's funny. There's some backstory there somewhere. We're going to uncover it. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to keep playing this. Another recording session tomorrow. But until then, thanks very much. See you soon.